Hi guys! So today we're going to be doing a little bit of a different video. I try to do a video like this every single year where I try and wrap up the year and I talk about like my statistics and stuff, but I don't really want to get into that this time because 2020 was a mess. I just wanted to do kind of like a montage to like highlight some of my favorites and like worst moments of 2020. Send positive vibes into the new year, crossing our fingers because there was a lot of stuff that we wanted to do this year we just couldn't do. <laughs> I guess the first thing that's most related to my channel would be concerts. I kind of always had in the back of my head like a mental goal that I really wanted to happen was to go to 20 concerts in 2020 because I thought that that was like iconic and I'm pretty sure I've been to over 20 concerts in the years before but I wanted to go to just 20 concerts and I didn't care like I wanted to make them the most affordable like boondock like $20 seats or something just to meet that goal of seeing 20 concerts but I wasn't able to do that so I did go to two concerts pre uh, pandemic like lockdown and restrictions which was a lot of fun so we did see uh, YBN Corday in Columbus at like a little I think it was called Scully's and we did have a meet and greet probably the most awkward meet and greet it was my first meet and greet so give me some slack but the picture's all right I guess and then we also saw Post Malone at PPG Paints in Pittsburgh this was Brandon's little brother's first concert too so that was really fun and it was one of my favorite concerts that I've ever been to and it definitely hit the news pretty hard there was a lot of footage and photos from it and that's when everybody was saying that like he wasn't doing okay. It was that time, so that was kind of crazy. And then I did manage to go to two concerts during the pandemic, both of them in September on a weekend. I saw Chelsea Cutler, Quinn 92, twice in Columbus at a drive-in concert, so that was a lot of fun. Uh, really nice long road trip, went with a lot of really nice people and had a good time, made some good memories. Definitely stories that I will be sharing down the road with kids and everything like that. I think that it's awesome I was able to go to some drive-in concerts and if that continues in 2021, hopefully not, but if it does, I know what to expect. 2020 was also full of love. I got to spend a lot of time with my friends and I did also get married to Brandon, so that was really awesome. I'm so happy and I'm really proud of myself and where I am in life right now. And, um, yeah, so I just wanted to kind of make a little homage to all the people that I love, so. Because we're going to be Mr. and Mrs. tomorrow. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You name Mal, kiss your wife. It took him so long to notice. We're going to try to get some records. Right, Shyby? Right. There we go. Can Joe figure out the parking pass machine? I got vanilla. Joe got chocolate. Joe is not having a good day. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Our new puppy. My name is Evie. Twenty twenty also had some pretty hard times, some pretty rough moments. I had to leave my job because of the pandemic, which was really mentally exhausting on me and a lot. And um, pandemics have actually been one of my greatest fears ever since I saw the movie Contagion with my mom in theaters way back when. Um, I just was always traumatized and worried, and I know that this was kind of a different scale than that, obviously and it's real life, but it was really traumatizing to process like, oh my god, like we're actually getting like locked down and I'm not gonna be able to like go to work or do anything. And then also everything that happened with the puppy that we had originally gotten, 
all of the negative comments, the threats, the harsh words, the terminology that was thrown at me because of that, but I still stand by being 100% authentic and making sure that you guys know what happened. What I didn't do was get an animal for views and then return it like a lot of big YouTubers to do, so I wanted to shed a light on the reality of what actually happens when you get an animal to be a part of your family and it doesn't work out and how it can affect someone. So I'm happy that I put out that video, still traumatized by the experience a little bit, wish that it didn't happen, but I'm thankful for the lessons that I learned with it happening. But essentially, um, today he uh, placed an effect or an order the Stay Home Act, I believe is what it's called. And what this means is basically, but not like legally, um, Ohio is in a little bit of a lockdown. I am absolutely devastated and heartbroken and sick about this whole situation. And if they do, I'll take Because I have to go pick up my paycheck. I only have half an hour to pick up my paycheck. I am now unemployed. I don't have a job. I actually quit my job. I don't know if I can ever make a video necessarily on why I would like to. Um, kind of do like a story time on why I quit my job. Uh, obviously, I'd have to cut some stuff out for legality reasons, I would assume, because I don't want anything to happen there. But right now, I am doing YouTube full time so that's why you guys have been getting a lot more uploads more frequently and everything and it's been able to pay the bills which is great but it's not where I want it to be so I'm hoping that either I continue to grow next year and it can get to that point where I don't have to worry about potentially finding another job or that if I do get another job I will have enough money more than enough money to do the things that I enjoy to be able to save and to be able to provide for my family hoping that in 2021 we can find some mental stability 2020 was also a really big year for one of my biggest fandoms my biggest families and that's the Rat Pack I have a logic poster behind me wow it's been a roller coaster of an end of a year with that that was so crazy to be such a huge part of and to still be a huge part one of. One last peep. Logic just posted a photo. Shut the fuck up. Officially announcing my retirement with the release of No Pressure. Even with the negatives that came with it, it's an amazing thing. I love you guys so much. I love all the friends that I've met because of it and I'm so thankful for the opportunities that Bobby has given me with my channel. I love how I'm all loose now. Dude, I was so nervous. I'm <laughs> shaking. Out in here because I haven't I'm so nervous. So it's crazy, man. Um, I haven't even hit this. What, what else? Olivia mm. Olivia, Olivia? Yes. I love Olivia. Also, Olivia, I saw your, your video uh, where you were... Bro! Where you found out that I was retiring. It, like, really messed me up. Because like, you go from, like... I have a theory about logic and when he's gonna drive us out and blah 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 and then you just see that I'm retiring and you just break down in tears and start crying and like yeah, I was like oh, girl Loki might like want to come back for you just for you and by giving me endless shout outs showing me endless amounts of love and seeing what I'm putting out there I think that that is amazing and I'm happy that he is that open with fans and that he addresses them I know kind of towards the end of this year that changed a little bit um, and we haven't really been seeing much of that. Just I hope that he continues to really support fans and praise fans and give them the spotlight because it's awesome and it really gives them an opportunity that they can't get any other way. Um, like I don't know if I would be where I'm at on YouTube if it wasn't for Bobby and I'm happy that he has a family and that he's doing well and that he's retired and he's in a really good space and I don't want to pressure or expect anything from him in the future when it comes to music. Also, if I do get that jumpsuit or when I get that jumpsuit, I will be making a video on it. I really want to do a comparison video where I compare it to the one that I made. Yeah, it's usually what I do. Olivia, I did see your spacesuit. I don't know how you snapped so hard. And I actually saw parts of you making it. That was crazy. I don't know how you redid it. 
And just so you know, I've got some spacesuits I'm actually making for fans. Can we make sure we send Olivia spacesuits? Bang! Before anybody else gets them. So thank you to Bobby. Um, I really appreciate it. Thank you to Sermon and thank you to Ace as well who have also been a part of that this year. I really appreciate both of you and I hope that you have an amazing year and um, that you guys are doing well in life. There was also a lot of funny moments. I really wanted this to be longer than it was, but it was really hard to actually find some clips and I didn't want it to be like reaction, like facial expressions. There were quite a few funny moments and um, I really, really did good on that this year, that's for sure. Come on, Harry. He's gonna stay over there. Bitch, I was doing the wires and I came up and you were leaving the half body, the fucking chicken leg that he yeah. looked like, and you went down to the vent, motherfucker, in the cart yeah, swipe just, room. I was just saying that Olivia was lying because if she yelled, I knew she was telling the truth. Yeah, because yeah. I'm getting aggressive. Happy Halloween, good morning. My thumb now broke. What do you mean redirect it to the line? What does that mean? What does that mean? What, what is happening? What is happening? This is worst case scenario! Worst case scenario! What do you mean they're about to become available? Y'all always fuck up, Ticketmaster! Why do I have to enter my phone number? Why do I have to enter my phone number? You excited? How's this shit? No. Why? I'm not a big Halloween person, but you said you wanted to do this. So this way. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Let's test our luck and hope that we get the ones that we want. This one isn't even in a blind bag. Shit, that might tear off my nail, actually. Ooh, I'm scared. Oh, bitch. Oh, God. How? Almost. Oh, mother of pearl. I don't really know why I should, guys. I just hit my bare foot on the scale. Oh my god. Ow. I just broken my pinky toe. Might have. Holy shit, go Kenny, go! Oh no, fuck, go, 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 go! Oh my god, go Kenny, you're still in the front. Holy shit, Kenny! Kenny, go, 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 go! Oh my god! Bro! No, is this the one? Bro! Bro! No! no. One. This one's the one. Ooh. Your girl's not a fan of the smell. Ooh. Is there a Clorox wipe roll in there? Probably not. There should be behind the desk. I, I need it to dry my tattoo. You need a Clorox wipe? Paper towel! Paper towel! Oh. There was a roll of paper towel! Right here. There's a Clorox wipe. So I think it's safe to say that we can all give 2020 a big fuck you and that we are all excited for 2021. I hope that everyone is continuing to stay safe, follow the precautions for their area and to help eliminate the spread and to help control this so that way we can get our lives back on track. Hopefully in 2021, like I really just want to redo, like can I just become 21 again in March like can we just skip like actually getting a year older I just really feel like it was a trial and error year and it just did not work did not work definitely gonna cancel this membership I hope that your 2021 is all that you want it to be and I hope that you guys still took away some great things from 2020 whether it was lessons that you learned or memories that you made but I love you guys thank you so much and I'll see you again very very soon peace out Girl Scouts. Oh, and Happy New Year. I guess that's important to say. Woo!